This is part 3 of how to get started with your new .NET NUC website. Next, the title of this module, of this area, which right now it's set to text HTML. Let's make it welcome to dnnhero.com. I'm going to copy it from here. I'm going to go back to the edit mode. Now the title, we can set the title in the settings of the module that we have added to the page where we added the contents. So go back to the triangle, move the mouse over and go to settings. Scroll down and here is module title. Let's just delete this and paste the text that we want to be the new title. Now here's the other thing that we're gonna do. We're gonna select the style of that area. You can see here there's a title and then there is a, a line uh, right below. So let's select something called in the dot .NET look a word called uh, container. Let's go to page settings and let's select a container. So I will explain more details what a container is but you have uh, a visual clue in a second. Okay. Those are all the different containers that comes with the skin. But again you will get to know a lot more about containers in future videos. Let's click update. So now you see that the welcome title is there, the lines are there, so this is the style of the container. Container is basically a wrapper for the content. So let's have a look at the view mode. It's almost there, there's still something strange here, which is kind of a center line. Let's go back to edit and let's go to the triangle close to welcome. Let's go to settings and let's have a look at the alignment. Let's set a proper alignment. I'm going to do it uh, a left alignment. Let's click update. So now it's looking much better. So basically we have the main content, it's looking quite okay, let's go back to view just to double check. Main content, title of the main content, once again we have the slogan on top of the banner. So there are still two areas that we need to take care of, one is the logo, the other one is the subscribe to newsletter uh, banner here on the, on the left side. So let's go first to the subscribe to my newsletter banner. So once again we have to have a look at the layout to see the name of the pane that is right here on the left side. So it's called left pane. Let's go back to edit mode, select HTML, left pane, let's add the content area in the left pane. Just not set a title, just click add module to page. So we have here again a text uh, HTML area where we're gonna edit the content to include the banner on the left side. I'm gonna delete any content from the page from the area. Click on the image button. Browse server. I'm gonna upload a file that is my computer. Click on browse to select a file in your computer. In this case, my file is called uh, newsletter. Click open, upload new file. Here is my file selected. So it shows here a little preview. Click OK. Here, just in case, I'm going to center align it. Here, you can set the alignment. Click save. And you can see the new banner on the left side of the homepage. Let's have a look at how it's looking like 
the live uh, in the view mode. So it's looking okay, but still, there's a title that I don't want there. There's a print button that I also don't want there. Let's go back to edit. And let's hide all of that. Go to the triangle. So we can uh, modify the settings of the newsletter banner. Click on settings. And click on page settings. Let's hide the container. Display container, let's uncheck. Allow print, let's uncheck. So we don't have the print icon. Click update. Let's have a look again. It should be gone. So it's all gone now. Uh, this version here is a little bit smaller, the, the banner. Let's make it a little bit smaller as well. Click edit. Let's go to edit. You can just click the image, drag one of the corners a little bit, just make it a little bit smaller. Click on save. So double check how it's looking like. It's looking pretty similar. This the live one is a little bit lower. Let's just give one line break so you can make it a little bit lower. Click on the left side, hit enter, and save again. That should be looking pretty similar. Let's have a look there. So we are good to go here. Now the last thing that we are missing is the logo. How can we change the .datuk logo by our own logo, in this case, the NN Hero logo? Very simple. Let's go back to our development site. Go under Admin, Site Settings. We're going to have to upload our new logo. Scroll down. <coughs> Go to Appearance. And under Appearance, you see the first option that says Logo. Click Upload New File. Browse so you can select the logo file on your computer. So, here's my logo, open, and then click Upload Selected File, it has uploaded to the site the new, the new logo, and it's set, so we just scroll down so we can save it, click Update. So we have the logo, let's go back to the home page. And here it is. Let's collapse the control panel at the top just so we can have a better look. Pretty similar to what we what our goal uh, was. Let's log out so we can have uh, an even better view. Well, let's do one thing first. Let's go back to edit mode. Let's get rid of the sprint button in the main content area as well. To do that. Let's go to the settings of the main content, settings, and under page settings, let's remove allow print. Click update. Now click log out. So here we have our new site with some content and it's pretty similar to our objective. So we basically have a, a basic setup of uh, DNN. Thank you very much for watching this video.